one thing that I came away thinking about this whole thing, right, is this. When I was watching this special, the thing that really got to me while I was watching this, I was like, why is Joe Rogan doing this? I think I made a point about it a few times when I'm watching it and I'm reacting to it live in the moment. Check out the reaction. It's available now on patreon.com. It's just Agostino. Link in the description. Patreon subscribers. It's only $1 per month. It starts from there and other tiers are there as well. But you can get access to my whole entire archive of Patreon content. I was watching, I was thinking to myself, why don't any of these guys have exit plans? Why don't any of these guys think of the future? Why don't any of these guys think of how they're going to bow out gracefully? Because surely at this point, if you're Rogan and you've made a half a billion, you've made a half a billion dollars from podcasting. You got into podcasting super early. You're the Dan Gorgan. You have the best one out in general, overall. You smashed it. You've killed it. You flipping completed every single level that can be associated with podcasting and you've cashed out in a major way and you've kept all your intellectual property. You've kept it all. No one owns anything. You've licensed out your pod. You've got all the ad money coming in. You've also used the podcast as a platform to launch careers. You've launched other businesses. You've got a comedy club. You've got all these things going for you. Why bother doing stand-up comedy? Why bother putting out mediocre stand-up specials? Why bother trying to compete with all these young, hungry people who are smashing it? Why bother ruining how you're perceived online, in public, by other people by putting out media products? Because if it was me, if it was me and I made the amount of money that he did, there'll be some things in my toolbox of skills or things that I do that I'll just knock off the board. Just because, you know what? I don't have the time. I need to I need to kind of focus my resources and energies into the things that are really going to benefit me the most. And that has to be the podcast. And that maybe has to be maybe UFC. But stand-up, really, if you think about it, Rogan has been in stand-up. If you think about it, if you think about it, Rogan has been doing stand-up comedy in one way, shape, or form for 30 years. He might be a professional stand-up comedian for 25 years. I only say that because I think he said the first time he got passed was in the five year range around that time, right? When he got passed at a comedy store. And I deem being a professional in any arts or any form of content or whatever, you know, stuff that isn't like a regular job. I, I deem the process of being, when you could call yourself a professional is when someone pays you. Doesn't matter if they pay you $1, doesn't matter if they pay you $1 million. As soon as someone pays you for your service, you can deem yourself as a professional. So most likely, Rogan has been a professional stand-up comedian. He's been getting paid to tell jokes on stage for 25 years. He's done stand-up for 30 years. He's terrible. Absolutely garbage. You have to watch this reaction that I did on Patreon. If you can't watch the reaction, please just search online, go on YouTube, try and scum the fucking special. Try and watch it. Try and see some clips from it. Maybe Rogan's got some clips of himself on his flipping Instagram. Check it out if you need to check it out. If you're not one of the sound of the patron, I get it. But just check out some of his jokes. I guarantee you, you'll be just as shocked as I am that this guy does stand up professionally and is deemed to be one of the best and tours the world all this malarkey. I don't get it. Because to me, he's not funny at all. I would go as far as saying Brendan Shaw might be better than him at stand up comedy. I'd go as far as saying Brian Callan might be better than him at stand up comedy. I'd go as far as saying Sam Tripoli screaming and shouting about flat earth and shit might be better about might be better than him when it comes to stand-up comedy rogan is terrible and it's interesting because throughout the entirety of the time i've listened to rogan i'm sure some of you guys are the same they have beat your head over they beat us over the head with this suggestion or with this theory that you become good at stand-up when you commit certain days so, no a certain amount of years into the craft like, oh, you have to commit this certain amount. You have to put in this certain amount of years in to get past. You have to pay your dues. It reminds me of the pay your dues thing. Like, I've, I nev it, never, it never resonated with me when I think the first time someone ever said that to me was A-side back in the day. Oh, yeah, you got to pay your dues. And that always sounded like just old people just trying to gatekeep, just trying to keep the kids from, like, doing the thing. It's like, bro, if you're good in year one, you're going to be good in year 30. Just give me the opportunities now in year one. Why, do, why should I have to wait until year 30? Why should I have to pay my dues? Like, this guy's been doing stand-up for 30 years. He's paid his dues. He's gone to all the best comedy clubs. He's been mentored, in a way, 
and uh, some of the best people. He's followed the best people. He's around the best people. He's got the popular podcast. Everyone wants to come on his show. Everyone's friends with him. He's in the green room all the time. He's hearing all his ins- like he's got all this mad inspiration and flipping co- information coming in. Blah 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 blah. And consistently, he puts out shit special after shit special after shit special. And you know what made me think? These guys don't have exit plans, and I don't know why. If it was me, I would have an exit plan. There will be a plan in place that I would follow. Once I hit this monetary amount, you're not hearing from me on certain places. And I think this is what Rogan probably needs. Because we're already overexposed. He's already in our face too much of his pod and UFC and social media and just general culture stuff, right? culture war shit. If I was him, I will take a step back for the stand up a little bit. Because in my opinion, that's the... And it's weird because... I would go as far as saying he's not that great of a commentator on the UFC either. I think he actually does UFC shit better than he does stand-up. And I don't know why he does it, because he's terrible. Truly terrible. But it does show that some of these guys just don't know when to sort of like bow out gracefully. And Rogan will be in the best position to do so. He's made loads of money. Like, it will never be seen as an L. It will never be seen as a failure, ever. It will just be him being like, you know what? I don't what I need to do. I don't need this anymore. Instead of just continuing on, continuing on. I don't, I don't know, man. I was watching this special. I was thinking to myself, why does this exist? Why is he, you know, in the ring? Why is he in the Coliseum trying to battle all these people that are coming up and being really funny and putting out good specials? Why does he think we need to hear from him in this sort of medium and platform when we hear the same things he speaks about on the special, on the podcast? It's not as if he's like saying anything, you know, you haven't heard before premises and outlooks and worldviews are things that you've already heard and sometimes in a less funnier way and he's doing it in this screaming but like weird way is talking about dicks all the time and trying to stress how not gay he is but how accepting of gay people he is and trans jokes and covid and covid jokes in 2024 covid jokes in 2024 i don't know if it was me i'd have an exit plan he doesn't have one. It is what it is. If you want to look for an exit plan, check out my Patreon, patreon.com forward slash Agostino. You'll find everything that I had to say about that special blow for blow, play by play, bar for bar, joke for joke.